dangerous, heavily polluting, U.S. pickups increase on European roads. This post received a score of 10,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Spotted some in Poland. Those are not made for our parking spots. Insane. In all fairness, they're not made for a lot of U.S. parking spots either. Especially not when they're jacked up and have wheels sticking out as far past the wheel well as they can. The worst part is when they only lift the front wheels. Never seen that before, but that's even more ridiculous. How do you even see the road at that point? You're pointing up like you're on a frigging rocket ship. Google, Carolina Squat. They're absolutely ridiculous. And just a note on the Carolina Squat. It's illegal in both Carolinas. I think Alabama finally limited the squat to four. Carolina squat is the dumbest thing I've seen done to trucks. I saw one in Germany. It barely fit within the lines of its parking spot. And it looked comically large next to minivans, which literally carry 2x the people. They barely fit in the parking lines in Canada, US as well. Especially when they add wheel spacers so tires stick out six. On either side like a 90s South Central Honda Accord. Like a Tonka truck that toddlers like. Have a co-worker who drives a huge Mercedes pickup to work 60 kilometers every day, and she works in an office, complete waste. And those are small compared to the big three American ones. American cultural victory. Jeans and Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, sometimes war. We're all living in America. See a few of these in London with our tiny roads. You look like a megator drastically trying to compensate for your bald spot in 1999 Oakleys. Builders in Amsterdam are starting to get pickups with cabs and I've even seen some twin wheels outside the city center. This is the Netherlands where some streets can hardly fit a Fiat Panda. Dually. That's the American term for them. Pronounced dually. For the first time since 2013. New Jersey residents are being treated to the city's biggest fireworks celebration this July 4th. The 10,000 free tickets Mayor Eric Adams was offering have all been claimed, but a number of venues from the High Line to Hudson Yards are selling fancy $100 plus tickets to their rooftop parties and viewing points. There are still plenty of places to take in the great views for free, no tickets required. Wow! This is roomy! I think EU needs to place insane tariff, tax on pickup trucks or else these annoyingly American vehicles will be an infestation on EU roads. I'm pretty sure there are already hefty taxes on them. Import taxes, pollution taxes, they have to be very expensive to acquire, but those who do get them don't care. Some of these, at least in Sweden, are sold as flexifuel meaning they can run on ethanol. Instant reduction in tax, many cost less than a small car to tax every year despite the emissions. I was also reading another article from Sweden how many companies get pickup trucks instead of vans because they end up being significantly cheaper over the lifetime as a result of things like the above, even if a van would suit them better. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.